Mm. Hi guys. Um, uh, first of all, a huge thank you to Jeff, who sent me um, a very generous gift. Uh, it threw me a bit, mate. Uh, I received this through the post, and um, <clears throat> it was from Smoking Pipes, and I thought I haven't ordered. Well, I have ordered a few things, but uh, only last week. It wouldn't have come that quickly. And uh, it was sent by UPS Super Saver by Jeff. Mm. Thank you so much, Jeff. We were only talking probably a month ago, maybe, about tobacco that I used to be able to get in the United Kingdom called Charles Fair Norm's Lancer Slices. And you probably, <coughs> some of you, uh, have tried it and uh, used to enjoy it. I think the last time I bought it was about 2008, so uh, about 10 years ago. So when I said I couldn't get it anymore, Jeff, <coughs> one of his very generous gifts, sent me a bag of it. This is an ounce of uh, Lancer Slices, not made by Charles Fairnorm anymore. Um, made by F and K who I haven't heard of. I'm not I know they make kind of different bulk tobaccos but I didn't I didn't know they made Lancer slices. Uh, it smells and tastes exactly the same as I remember. So perhaps they're just producing under a different name. So that is so welcome Jeff. Brought back lovely memories um, it's a kind of rich Latakia uh, broken type flake <coughs> in kind of you can see where the Lancer slices came from because you end up with a, a clump a long kind of flake uh, piece broken off and it's delicious people say it's very similar to um, Bengal slices but it's slightly different actually. Maybe they're thinking about the old, the original Bengal slices. Um, but yeah, beautiful. S smells wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Um, then he sent me, and that's who I'm going to talk about today, and this is what I'm smoking now. Some Peter Stockerby's, um, I'm smoking this at the moment, Peter Stockerby's Luxury Bullseye Flake. They come in these lovely coins, very similar to uh, things like you know Davidoff flake medallions and um, I get that camera and a scudo. Um, it, it's a vapor, but that dark bit, like the pupil, is uh, is black Cavendish. It's got a core of uh, Cavendish. Um, <coughs> I do well. I'm not overly keen on black Cavendish, but actually it works quite well. I tend to break it up in the pipe. I'm smoking a Clifton, by the way. A little Clifton uh, a Featherweight Phantom from 1938. The year before uh, uh, the start, or the British start of the Second World War. Um, And every now and again, you get a little sweet spot, um, and that will be the black Cavendish. But, mm. it's a wonderful smoke. Peter Stockerby. Um, <clears throat> so, it's, it, Tobacco wise has been going for well over a hundred years. The shop opened in 1882 in Denmark. Not by Peter, he wasn't around then, but by um, Eric, uh, Eric Peter Stockerby, who produced a wide range of Danish kind of style tobaccos. Um, soon became world renowned for the quality of his tobaccos and the very famous pipe shop in Denmark. He served such people as Winston Churchill and King Frederick of Denmark. Um, 
and is a very, very famous uh, producer of tobaccos. I think you can buy stock of his tobacco in most places, mainly in bulk. Well, I think pretty much all in bulk now. In the UK, we used to get all the stock of his tobaccos at one point, but now we can only get. Hmm, Maybe five different varieties, mainly one which I'm not keen on. It's a Virginia, um, very, very bland. I can't remember what it's called. And then you get some of the, the American <coughs> market style, uh, you know, Nougat type, uh, very, very sweet uh, kind of aromatic tobaccos. But the luxury bullseye flake, which I'm smoking now, is superb. Very nice. Um, Jeff sent me an ounce. And he sent me an ounce of the Navy Flake. They're all presented very, very nicely. The Navy Flake's a great tobacco. Really, really nice. And he sent me uh, some of this. Uh, don't mind it. Um, this is the Luxury Twist Flake. It's a nice, easy-going um, well, summer tobacco, really. But it's very nice indeed. Lovely, intricate flake, if you look at it. You can see the twist in the tobacco. Looks and smokes really, really nicely. So thank you very much, Jeff. That was really just a thank you for Jeff. I hope everyone's doing well. I am. I'm off this weekend. I've um, I've got a couple of orders on the way. I'm still waiting for that one from uh, from uh, Smokers Haven. Um, <coughs> hasn't been shipped yet, but as soon as it arrives, I'll do a, a box unopening or something like that. Um, People have said, what else do I collect and uh, am I into anything else? Um, not really. Uh, you know, vaguely into kind of films and things like that. Recently been getting into more 80s kind of films that I watched when I was younger. And, uh, you know, horror films. I can't stand modern horror. I don't like uh, Saw and stuff like that. Um, I like uh, yeah Friday the Thirteenth and Nightmare on Elm Street as you can see with the T-shirt. <coughs> yeah, so I've ordered a couple of bits, a bit silly really at my age, but um, ordered some uh, DMA, uh, a, a, a figure and a glove uh, from the film. <laughs> see, when you pass that forty then you start doing silly things. I've said this before. I think I mentioned that. Yeah, that's a silly thing, isn't it? Bought that when I was 40. So there you go. You start doing silly things. <clears throat> so yeah, a few other box on openings of things that aren't tobacco related. If anyone's interested, I'll, I'll do those soon when they arrive. But that's about it, really. Nothing else is going on. The weather here is actually quite nice, I'll show you. There you go. Not bad at all, is it? Yeah. Problem being is the glare from the light <coughs> completely ruins the video. So I don't usually go outside to make it. Um, my camera's only an iPhone camera anyway. Anyway, I'm going on now. So I'll thank everyone, and especially Jeff. Thank you very much. And I'm getting back to everyone's messages in a minute. So uh, I will reply. See you maybe in a week. Thanks very much. Cheers, guys. Bye.